Well, welcome back to this month's lesson on Inspired to Paint. I thought it would be fun to paint some um, really intense pink roses and some pale pink roses in my mother's beautiful um, Korean vase. I, I want to tell you that um, sometimes when I'm setting up um, still lives, you know, to set them up, a lot of times I'll take I'll kind of re rearrange things and take multiple photos and again look at them as thumbnails to see which composition I like best. I also like to change color backgrounds. If you've watched the background concept lesson, um, you can see how I do that. So with this particular setup that we're going to do today, um, I've painted different versions of these roses several times. And uh, I don't, this year, you know, a lot of years I do a lot of yellow. This year I'm doing a lot of pinks for whatever reason. But um, this was one that, I want to show this to you, was one that I set up, um, wanted to do with a real, you know, pale yellow uh, background. My mother would have loved this one. Again, if you've read my blog about the color yellow, my mother loved the color yellow. Um, but I, you know, I just think this is a really beautiful painting. But when I set it up, um, I also wanted to do some darker, let me move this out of the way. I wanted to do some darker versions as well. So um, here's one, another one with um, a darker background uh, with a candle, but it's the same roses in that other one. So you can see the different feel that it has from that other one. Um, so with this one, I want to do, um, let me go back to this and just, so with the lighter background, the darker violet uh, roses are the ones that kind of stick out the most. And those varieties are called Munstead Wood. They're a David Austin variety. So you can see that um, the darker ones against the yellow really, really pop. Where uh, with the darker background, it's the lighter, it's the lighter pink that pops. So depending on which one that you want to pop, it's all entirely um, up to you. So I want to do, but I want to do um, a darker background. We did a lighter background last month. In fact, that was really turquoisey daisies. In fact, my daughter walked in um, after we were finished filming. Shanna came over and my daughter walked in and she said, Ooh, mom, I want that one. I think I've told you I give my kids a um, painting every year for Christmas. They get to choose a painting for their collection. And um, she chose that one. So that made me feel really good that uh, she liked that. That was a, a fun one to do. So we, um, the image that we have, it's uh, a darker background. It's the color of my wall. Whether I do it that color or not, I don't know. But I know the value is about what I want. So um, it's a very typical... Elizabeth Robbins composition. Um, I've got, you know, the, the main focus um, base in the center. I have a little uh, um, little rose that kind of leads you in. It brings you up to these roses that are going to be here with the candle. So I don't know if I'm going to do the candle or not. I've been doing a lot of candles lately. And um, as, as Shanna does the same thing. We kind of go in series. Like, you know, okay, all of a sudden, all of my paintings have candles in them, or suddenly she does, everything is really tonal for her. So we kind of do these series, you get, you get into this mode of, oh, I really like that. And I want to do another painting. So um, I have the candle there. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it in or, or not. We'll see. I've painted a candle for you before. I don't think I'm going to do the flame. Maybe we'll paint the flame and just see what it looks like. And if I don't like it, I can take it out. I also have, did I mention this is a 1620? It's a 1620. This is the C15 linen, double primed, I think. Um, and last night I gave it a coat of raw umber um, with the Neo McGilp. So it's, it's fairly dry. Um, I also have an arched 16 by 20 frame that I think is really going to look pretty on this. So I'm excited to see it when it's done. Whether I can get this all done in one sitting um, today, a la prima, I don't know. I'm going to get as far as I can. It's already late in the day and it is hot. This is September's lesson, but I'm filming this in July and it is, it is hot outside. And I turned my air conditioner off when I film because of the noise, the fan and everything. So I might have to stop and turn the air conditioning back on for a little bit, or otherwise you're going to see me sweating. Anyway, um, 
So in regards to my palette, it's pretty much my traditional palette with the exception of this is cobalt violet. And I want, I think this is really fascinating. I want to show you something. Let me grab a paper towel. Um, I have found this color helpful when I'm painting these deep, deep fuchsia kind of color roses. Oh, I didn't mention that the pink ones, I think, are the heritage roses. Um, they're both a David Austin variety, so the deep ones are called Munstead Wood, and the pink ones are heritage, just a really uh, beautiful rose. So, but I want to show you something. So in on the color wheel, what's interesting is that this, if you look at the two, this, even though this is a bit darker, this feels like there's more red in it. This feels like it's it's actually warmer than alizarin because it feels like it leans more to the red where this might lean to more to the blue. But I want to show you something. This is fascinating to me. I'm going to pick up a little bit of white. Shanna gave me some of this and I tried it. So you can see how um, kind of a pepto y pink that is with alizarin and white. But now what hap look what happens. This just blew my mind because I thought this was warmer than that. So I'm going to take, this is cobalt violet. I'm going to pick up a little bit of white. Look at that. That's just cra <laughs> crazy, crazy to me. So cobalt violet definitely leans more to the blue. So this is cooler than the alizarin crimson, which is leaning a little bit more to the red um, in comparison to the cobalt violet. Um, Anyway, that was fascinating because I, I could have swore this was going to be warmer than that, and, it's, and it isn't. So I put it here on my palette because it is closer to the blue. So I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so um, how do I want to start this? I could either start by just kind of like drawing, you know, I'll just take a lizard and crimson. I could come in here and just kind of draw some you know, outline kind of things. But I think um, what I want to do is I want to be a little bit more spontaneous with this. Um, I think what I might do, do I want to do it? It would probably be helpful for me to think this through a little bit. Um, well, maybe I will. Let's just take a lizard and crimson.
So I am really happy with it. That was a lot of fun. In fact, um, of all the demos I've done for you, this might be the best one yet. So it was probably good for me to take a couple months break. Uh, if you like it, let me know in the comments below. And I hope this leaves you very inspired to paint. Thanks for watching.